state tournaments all around. We have a lot of them across Cakeland. 6A going down at Coke Arena. Top seeded East taking on Mays. We got first quarter action here off the steal. It is former Cake Sports Athlete of the Week, Xavier Kelly, getting the pass for the layup. Cortland Standifer would add to it with another pretty layup of his own as Wichita East rolls over Mays. 59 to 46. Wichita South coming in as the seven seed. Tough task against the Lawrence Lions tonight. Jariah Taylor, good for the deep three, but South takes a tumble 64 46. So Lawrence will play the winner of this one. Derby and Shawnee Mission North. That's Sam right there. He's fired up for state. So is James Connolly. The Derby senior pulls up with a smooth release. Panthers got out to a 7 0 start off the inbound pass here. Derby misses. North rebounds, but check it out. Fast break ended before it started. Conley picked the pocket. And it's Shawnee Mission North with the 65-51 victory. So South and Derby are now out. After their rival Bishop Carroll lost by 10 in the 5A tournament in Topeka, Bishop Carroll is not in, but Capen is. Topeka Seaman, their opponent, Sammy Backrow right there. A lot of that inside out offense. It worked the game plan to perfection. Back row leads the Crusaders to the 55-28 win. So Capen remains. Tough matchup for Newton, the seventh seed, taking on Leavenworth. But the Railers were jacked up. Peyton Roberts Parker, she can throw a shot put with the best of them. And the state champ there's got game as well. A couple good moments for the Railers, but they do bow out 49 to 31. 4A Division I tournament now. Wellington making its first appearance at state since 1957. Trevor Nance, he'll slash to the hoop. That's a bucket 50 years in the making right there. Well, almost 60, actually, 58, right? But they're playing the top seed, Baser Linwood. Baser Linwood would have their way, 65 to 40. A great run, though, to get to Salina for Wellington. Later in Salina, top-ranked McPherson taking the floor against Chanute. Kyler Kinnaman, quarterback right there. That's why he's got those, yeah, that's, he's a good passer, right? Found his man. And then uh, Spencer Wine going straight to the wine rack, if you will. McPherson continuing on, 66-31. They'll play the winner of this game tomorrow. Andale and Bishop Miege. When you got determination like this on the boards, you got to like your chances. Look at Jeffrey Ass just cleaning up right there. Beast mode, three rebounds. Finally gets it to go. Unfortunately, the Indians have to go. Could not get it done. 50-34, to your final. 4A Division II boys at Hartman Arena, the four versus the five seed in Trinity and Thomas Moore Prep. Cameron Schmidt pulls up for the jumper from the elbow to give Hayes TMP the early lead, but Trinity comes storming back. Tyler Burns, the all-world athlete, every sport in the world. You find that guy on the highlight reel. Crusaders go on to win 63-57. to 57. Uh, 3A girls in Hutchinson, second seeded Cimarron is undefeated. Taking on Wellsville, this one all about Cimarron. Karina Balon takes the business under the rack right there. Then we'd see Kerry Blattner get the ball on the wing, does more fourth quarter damage. Cimarron wins 57 39, and we'll move on to face the winner of this game. Three seeded Silver Lake taking on Whitewater Remington. Those kids don't have to go to school, right? It's Kristen Waddell knocking down the bucket. Silver Lake would respond a few times, though. They go on to win a close one, 55 to 52, so Whitewater Remington bows out. St. John Hudson taking on Ellis at Bramlage, and watch this, this guy's gonna play at Bramlage. He's a future K-Stater, Dean Wade right there. St. John wins 83 to 41, Dean Wade is a stud. So that might be the only good news for K-State tonight. Yeah. That Dean Wade's <laughs> really? I know. future K-State.